Hi Virgo, thank you for joining me for your soulmate twin flame reading for the week of August 7th through the 13th. And I do want to thank all of you who have subscribed, liked, and shared my videos, booked readings, and also those of you who have donated to my channel. I, I truly love doing this for you. So the first card we have for you this week is the Fool card. Very nice, right? A great way to start your reading. So the Fool card is about somebody letting go and letting God. Getting ready to just jump off and start in a new direction of their life, not knowing where they're going, but believing that God is going to lead them where they need to go. It's followed by the Ace of Wands. So the Ace of Wands is a gift from the universe to give you an opportunity to create a brand new beginning filled with passion, filled with energy, with romance, with sensuality, just a brand new explosive beginning. That is followed by the Strength card. The Strength card is all about courage and power, willpower, control, but um, it's having the strength to move forward in your life. This is followed by the Ace of Pentacles. <laughs> These are nice cards. A new beginning from the universe, an opportunity to create a solid foundation, a new start, um, filled with abundance. And this is followed by the Two of Swords. Two of Swords is somebody being, uh, they're, they need to make a decision, okay? And they are not making it, they have not made it. And this is followed by the hangman. So the hangman is the card where you need to go internal and do some introspection so that you can see things from a different perception, a different point of view. This is followed by the high priest. The high priest is about intuition, about dreams, about spiritually being in tune with the universe and going within and hearing what they're telling you and also listening to your own intuition, your wisdom within. And this is followed by the Hierophant, which is about standing strong in your belief system in traditions and values that you believe in. Wow, look at this. You've got five major arcanas, two brand new beginnings, and you're at a crossroads. So Right off the bat, just by looking at the cards, I'm not even hearing anything, but, I mean, I am, but, I mean, I'm just saying you don't have to hear anything to see this. Somebody's getting ready to take a new beginning, and they're having absolute faith and trust in God. That wherever they go, they believe 110% that it is the right place for them to be. They have the strength and courage to move forward, and now they're at a crossroads, so to speak. They're a little indecisive because they can create a new beginning this way and they can create a new beginning that way. So they're jumping out to start and these wonderful things are lining up in front of them and they're trying to figure out which way to go. So what you're being guided to do in this particular situation is to go within because change is going to happen. So stand strong in your beliefs, all right? Listen to your intuition. Go within, okay? Look at things from a different perspective. That will help you make the decision on which direction you want to go. But here's the thing, whether you're the twin flame chaser, the twin flame runner, or in a soulmate relationship, you all, each and every one of you, have the inner strength inside, the courage, the wisdom. You know what you want. Now it's just embracing the fool so that you can move forward in your journey. And along the way, you're going to have things happen along the way. And many, many good things are in store for you. You can't go wrong that you have a, a, an a opportunity to create a new beginning with your, your love, okay? Whether you're with them or whether you're planning on reconnecting with them. But you have an opportunity to create something new that's passionate, romantic, abundance, 
that is a solid foundation for a long-term relationship. Those to me go hand in hand. Oops, that was me. And um, just change your perspective, change your point of view on the way that you are looking at things. You have everything there, you're ready. Maybe some of you are a little bit fearful because you are going into the unknown. And you know what, that is kind of scary. I mean, when I went through mine, it was like, what the heck am I gonna do with myself? You know, you don't know what you're gonna do. And people who raise their children, when you have children, your life revolves around your children. They go to soccer and, I mean, they're in everything, cheerleading, soccer, football, uh, plays, um, music festivals. They're just involved in so many things and we encourage them to do that because that helps them learn who they are and what they want. That's why parents do that. Well, it's the same thing for us in an adult version. So you have the opportunity to go through and figure out what it is, who you want. But for those of you that want to just say, you know, I'm going to let go of this twin flame situation and I'm going to just give it to God and let God lead the way for me. I just want to pull an additional message card just to see um, if there's anything else in here that they want you to know. Because this is really, this is absolutely wonderful. There are many in this week. This will be through the next couple weeks where you have these opportunities. It isn't about making an offer per se. It's about you. It's about where you're at within yourself. This is working on you. This is part of the healing process. You can't make the offer until you're healed. You can't receive the offer until you're healed. Once you let go and let God, and you really, truly, deep, deep within yourself, you believe you have the strength and the courage to move forward, and you're going to be guided, and you are guided. That's when things, and you are you might even be getting messages in your dreams. The high priestess, you could be getting a lot of intuitive messages in your dreams, right? So for those of you getting those messages, write them down. And, <laughs> um, and then review them. And they will make sense. If they don't make sense that day, go back later. And, and they will eventually, those dreams are going to make sense to you. So here's the last message that they want you to receive, and that is the Knight of Pentacles. So for those of you that are willing to let go, willing to take that strength and courage within, to move forward, you can make a decision to do this, or you can decide not to do this. Once you do this, that's when the offer comes in. Very nice, right? Like I said, when you get healed, that's when you can accept an offer. That's when you can give an offer. So for some of you, you are going through this process right now. You are embracing this wonderful energy around you. You're listening to the messages from above. You're standing strong in your traditions and values. You're standing strong in who you are. You figured out who you are and what you like and what you don't like. And now that you're ready to move forward, the offer's going to come. So, again, for those of you who are actually doing this, the offer's on its way. For those of you who aren't quite there yet, you're in route to be there. Oh, okay. So, we got two of them. Romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. So, that kind of coincides with this new beginning, right? You need to experience your romantic self. You need to feel sexy and confident in who you are, the way you look. You need to like your appearance, and that all pertains to romance, passion, right? Healing, healing internally. When we can look in the mirror and look at ourselves and see who we really are, that's where it's all at. So these romantic feelings are real. And a good way to do this, if you are not with your twin flame, date. That doesn't mean you need to have sex with them, but date, meet other people, show them who you are, get comfortable in who you are with the opposite sex. 
for those of you in a relationship, express your romantic feelings. Tell your partner you're ready to move forward. You're ready to do this in your relationship on a different level. So show this to your partner. Um, the next card that came up for you is trust. This situation is calling to have faith. And that coincides completely with the Fool card. Trust. Trust that God's going to lead you in the right direction. Okay? Believe in you. Believe in God. Believe in the universe. Because this is wonderful. Wow. Some of you have done some amazing... I'm so proud of you because it is... Uh, the work, the healing is hard. It is really hard. I was a single mom and raised two kids completely alone, financially, physically, and it is hard. So let's see what the uh, angels want to tell you, Virgo, just for you. The strength card, your card. There it is. Teresa, time out. You've been so busy taking care of everyone else's needs, but now it's time to stop and take care of yourself. So that completely ties in with this reading. That's all about seeing who you are, healing who you are within, so that when the offer comes, you are ready to accept it. You know who you are. And when you're healed, you're ready to give the offer. So this is all about healing, trusting, moving forward, not knowing where you're going to go, but believing somehow, some way, things are going to fall into place and you have the opportunity here for you. Once you're in that place and you're trusting and you're taking care of you and expressing who you are, that's when your offer is going to be given or received. So this is beautiful. Virgo, I, I hope you have a wonderful week. Please check out your moon and rising sign. You can pick out what um, fits for you in your scenario, and that will give you an actual uh, reality for the week or two weeks um, to come. So have a wonderful week. Much love.